Hey guys, Mobile Mike here from thegadgetgurus.net, and today we're going to be taking a look at the HTC Flyer and uh, HTC Scribe, which is this little pen here and how it interacts with your tablet. So let's let's take a look. Um, the the first thing is you'll notice down here there's actually a button. I don't know if you can see it. There we go, right here, and you push this, and well, you have to be I guess in an app, um, or you tap on the screen and it'll take a screenshot, but Let's uh, let's pull up the web page here, and we tap that right there, and it brings up different choices. So that just took a screenshot of the web page that we were on, and now I can draw uh, right here, right on it. So I can color. Let's. Uh, I'll tell you what we're gonna do. We're gonna erase this. You can actually just hold this button right here, and it erases. And you can tap down here and you get all kinds of different choices. Uh, you get pen size, you know, if you want the thickness of it. You can just erase that. Uh, you've got color. So you can, you know, draw different colors on here. So I mean this would be useful if you know you needed to take a screenshot of something real quick. Um, I'll give you a perfect example. So we're on the web page here. This is Nick Ball from the After Party and the Gadget Gears podcast, if you guys don't know. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to draw on Nick. So I'm going to get my red pen out here. And let's see what brush. I think we'll use this little marker thing here. Yeah, let's go with that. And put some... Oh no, we don't want purple though. We want red. There we go. So go ahead and we'll just erase. Uh, and we're gonna do we're gonna do red. I'm gonna draw some some horns. These look more like antlers, but whatever. Some horns on Nick, and we'll give Nick a little little devil tail. There you go, Nick. Uh, so uh, you know, for doing funny. Funny stuff like that, I guess it's pretty cool. Um, the main function of, uh, in my opinion, the main function of this pen is going to be for uh, either, you know, like free drawing or handwritten notes. And for that, you've got a special version of Evernote built into the HTC Flyer. And, you know, same options down here with all your pens and different things. Um, but, you know, it gives you this notebook style. Uh, oops. Let's see. Uh, we'll discard that. It gives you this notebook style page here. You know, you can see all the other notes that I've made. And we can just do a new note here. And what's cool is it actually pulls up your calendar. So if you'd like to, uh, if you're doing something, like you have a meeting, and you go to make a new note, it's going to go, oh, hey, you're, it looks like you're in a meeting right now. So you would want to make notes for that particular meeting. So uh, we're going to go ahead. I'm not in a meeting, but we're going to go ahead and create a note and grab the pen here. And we'll change the density just so you guys can see it a little easier. And then you can just write right on the screen here. Tap that, get rid of the uh, options. And excuse my absolute terrible handwriting. The flyer does nothing to fix your handwriting. Uh, it tracks really well. You know, if you're used to using like Windows Mobile and the stylus days back then and on the palms and the handwriting stuff was. Um, it just, it always seemed to be a little bit behind and wasn't exactly where you are writing. And this tracks really, really nicely. I mean, um, it's it's very comfortable to use and to write. And, you know, I, I don't know if I could see myself taking long, long notes with this. But, I mean, this is definitely handy if you're in a meeting or, you know, you're, uh, you're at school and you want to just jot some quick notes down, you know, if you're listening to a lecture. Um, it even has a record button right here. So you can click that and it's going to record, you know, an audio recording and then I can make notes, you know, like, uh, you know, at nine seconds, uh, you know, page number two or, or whatever, you know, to go along with your recording. So that way you can highlight, you know, sp uh, specific parts of the actual recording. So that's pretty cool. So if you're in a lecture or you're in a meeting and, you know, you, you wanted to, kind of annotate what was happening throughout the meeting you could record it and you know have access to you know pen and paper basically right here and you know you can adjust the size of, of your pen so you can get a bunch of stuff to fit on here you know depending on how you write 
you know, taking, and this is kind of awkward the way I'm holding it, but normally you would, you know, have it down on the table and, and write like this. And, you know, this is much easier, of course, just like a piece of paper. Um, so it, it takes notes very well. It's very easy. Um, some of the other stuff you can do is draw, which is kind of cool. Um, let's see here. I, uh, this is, uh, there we go. <laughs> I was just doodling, you know, uh, trying out different stuff with the pen, and that's a little something I doodled up. So, yeah, you're welcome world for this beautiful piece of art right here. No one copy my shit either, I'll be pissed. Um, and you can make cute notes to your girlfriend like this. Boom. You're getting instant action with stuff like this. The HCC flyer is gonna hook you up. Um, and we got we got some cool, you know, little drawings I did. Just stuff like this, you know, so it's, it's definitely useful. I can definitely see a, uh, a need for it. And, you know, corporate settings, if you're jotting notes down, especially with being the tablet being the seven inch size, you, know, you can hold this with one hand and write on the other very comfortably. This is light. This is light. Um, this is 80 bucks, though. So that's that's the only problem that I see is this is five hundred dollars and then this is eighty dollars. So to get a total package, um, you know, you're spending close to six hundred bucks. And. Uh, I, I, I don't know if I can justify $600 when, you know, you can find programs out there that do voice record and you can type annotations and things like that. It is very nice having the pen. I mean, it, it, don't get me wrong. It is really, really nice. The pen's high quality. It's made of metal. Um, it, it feels really good. It's very easy to use. But again, you know, it's 600 bucks. So is it, is, it, is it worth it to you? I guess that depends on how much you're actually going to handwrite notes, how much, you know, you're going to, oops, just taking screenshots all over the place. Um, how much you're actually going to use this to write. You know, you, you, we're moving away from writing and more into touch typing and voice commands and that sort of stuff. So it's interesting to see HTC bring back the pen, and I think there's definitely a place for it. Um, I just think that if you're the kind of person that knows that you prefer to write stuff down and to use a pen, uh, then, then this tablet is going to really work out nicely for you um, because it's, you know, it, it works very well. It's not, not janky, and it's definitely not a gimmick. It's definitely not a gimmick. So I, uh, I hope this kind of clears up some of the stuff about the pen. If you guys have any other questions, check out the full review. Of course, hit me up on Twitter, MobileMike01. And also listen to the Gadget Gurus podcast, thegadgetgurus.net slash podcast. Uh, this is Mike, and you guys take a look at the rest of the review on the website soon.